All right, then welcome back to T2ID. It's been a while, which is starting to become a bit more of my intro. Why is my key is not working? Numlock was turned off for some reason. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Detours aside, yeah, sorry. Dang, it's been a while, or it's been a hot minute since I last played this. It's starting to become a bit of a trend with my Let's Plays, more than my actual intro. I actually haven't really been doing that a whole lot for T2ID. Uh, the plan is, this session, is to hopefully finish the game. That might not be possible. <laughs> it's very on plausibility. Nope, no, you're full screened. I'm gonna blame that on my Wii and not my recording software. Alright, uh, what kept you, Mario? It's been two hours and a few weeks since. Since I last told you that we have stuff to do. Well, it doesn't matter now. I think, uh, think they're in the vicinity. I don't think they're in the vicinity anymore. They must have found another way to get through the door. It's all down down to this. Hurry now, Mario. Lord Loth, the last crystal star. This is gonna become a pain for if I ever do more, more Wii games that I can't use the Wii U for. So unfortunately, I do not have a Wii. Um, actually, it's a Nintendo. Good at Nintendo on there. Or many Wii games on Wii U. Whoa, look at the door! Mm, that doesn't seem good. Oh, that doesn't seem good. Oh, hello Mario Galaxy 2! At uh, long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadows have been opened. Thor Princess Peach falls victim to the, that fiend before he takes over the world. He must rescue the Pestis and stop this cataclysm. Piss Rock and wow. This might... <laughs> we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Welcome to probably what's going to be the longest single dungeon in this game. Granted, it's an entire chapter. Welcome to Chapter 8. 
the thousand year door. Roll credits! Cinema Sims Ding. Roll credits. He, he, he said the thing. He says the name of the game. Also, this is literally just the entrance to Creepy Steeple again. Oh, this place is nasty, but we don't have a choice. We gotta cruise through and save the princess before this whole cataclysm happens. Come on, Gonzalez. Yeah, again, just the entrance is Creepy Steeple. Or part of it, actually, a bit. Welcome to essentially what's either going to be be harder or easier than the Pit of Under Trials. So not only do we have late pit enemies, which is good, which is uh, a thing, and yet we're also starting on not great terms, or not great power, also I failed to take that into account. Ow. Uh, I need to readjust my uh, skills. Real quick. <laughs> I probably should have done this in between episodes, but I forgot I didn't change it when I uh, finished the pit last time. Yeah, this is a one really big long dungeon that has no shortcuts. You want to go back, you have to walk all the way back and then walk all the way to the end of the dungeon. Guess what I did in my first play- had to do in my first playthrough. So let's try to avoid that. If we can. Um, we want Spike Shield, Ice Power, Puppy Flower. I'm gonna equip- I'm uh, pretty lucky. You. Honestly, I don't actually have to change all that much. I'm keeping Jumpman. Uh, that's all good. And I could equip Happy Flower. But really, these. Oh, yeah, one's at top. Duh. That's why I, that's why I unequipped it. Oh, I got. Yeah, we don't actually need to fix all that much. Lucky me. Yeah, lucky me. Yeah, but this is a really long dungeon, and you can't leave, and there's no shortcut. If you want to go back, if you need to get some more healing items, or train, uh, you're walking, Ben. All the way back to the beginning. No shortcuts. No nothing. Which means we are going in at quite a significant advantage, and it's arguable it can be argued that the final boss is worse than the pit boss. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. I I've already told my story with this game multiple times so far, but I am gonna go into like full detail of the fuckery I had to I almost had to deal. With. I had to deal with having kids because of my poor building choices. That's that my choices now aren't a whole heck of a lot better, but they are... Okay, I'd say that, but they're actually significantly better than what my original build was. It's not even a contest. This is just straight up better. Maybe not better in terms of inventories, Tory wise but this is better. Ain't kind of better than a relative term. But yeah. 
You have to watch this every single time. When I said every single chapter, I'm backtracking. I meant it. You may not think, oh, chapter 8 doesn't have a lot of backtracking. Well, what are we doing now? Doing. But that does not count for needing to leave. That doesn't count for needing to leave. Having to leave to go grab resources. That is backtracking. You can't escape it. And neither will I. Anyways, existential dread aside. I don't even have TP to deal with half this. Yep. I must be recording a lot later than I normally than I like to. Telling how she ends up on the weekend because people are home aside from me. So, so my energy hasn't been drained from looking after the dogs for uh, multiple hours. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Hey, me. Heart attack. I didn't think we would have to backtrack at the beginning of this. Fuck me. So I guess we're backtracking at the beginning of this because we just die. Nothing can ever go. Nothing ever goes my own way, really. Sometimes. Okay, I shouldn't say nothing ever goes my way. But things often don't. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Sh movement. Uh, we have to go all the way back! So we can heal up! Then we don't have to stand on the platform every single time we want to go into... Uh, the Thousand-Year Door. Or the Shadow Palace. So we have to go all the way around... Just to rebel our HP. Granted, we probably should have done this last time. I, I will, I'm well aware I'm the idiot here, but this is just absurd. At least we're doing this at the literal start of the chapter. Unfortunately, I, well, I could leave this out, uh... Wasting the time is the ammo a bad idea, theater. Apparently. Also, yes, we could just... If we wanted to, we could go all the way back to Glitz Pit to heal. For free. But I, I think I speak for all of us when I say, I'm just going to take the coin loss and be done with it. I, I, I don't care that I'm losing five coins. What else am I going to use that five coin, those five coins on? And I, I guess jam and jelly, but those are like 150 coins, so yeah. Not exactly uh, helpful. Jen, where the last sand? Buying others. Am I, uh, okay, am I previous 
my first time through this game, uh, I used to use Super Peel a lot because of damage. Oh, hello, Mega Rush. Not that I will see you very often, but hello, Mega Rush. <laughs> Well, I'm um, we'll up be here. No shuffle. Um. Oh, yes, you okay? Uh, please don't do that. It concerns me. What, what do you mean that's the consolation prize? That is the prize! Yeah, I know I'm joking. I'm joking about that, mostly. Oh! That's all. Yeah, that's my bell. Just a ton of life rooms because I do not care about my HP. And some super shrooms to heal my party member. Again, I do not care about my HP. Uh, da da da. Onwards we go. Yeah. Also, I have ice power because there is fire enemies inside the, uh... Dungeon. I need another last... See, which is fine. I don't need another last time yet. But yeah, this goes to prove that, uh... Overleveled isn't really a thing here. We can still easily die to these guys. The only thing that it affects is getting less experience from battles, which is... Okay, it's actually kind of detrimental, but also not that big of a deal. Overall, to get less experience from battle... means we get less full heals. Yeah, being over level does not mean a whole lot. It means you can equip more badges, but if you just focus on EP, get those badges anyways. Same with FP. Granted, with FP, you do also need BP to equip the actually good shit. We've gotten three bingos in the entirety of this playthrough. Such worth. Much, much, much have such worth. At least I think my map is correct. Yeah. I have not much else to say right now. We're just, we're just literally going through this. Not much else to say. Here's the model where five guys could be useful if we weren't already overpowered. Bite sacked and useless. Multi bounce. 
Bombery. Ba bomb blast. Nice. Well, speaking of leveling up soon, I'm about to do that. It's like a slinky. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I aside from like, what I'm doing is going to... Let's like fuck up like that. Ow. Ow. One more battle, as long as it has two enemies, and we get another level up. Do to do, ignoring it! <laughs> oh, great, this guy's. Either you can use Vivian, or you can just fucking beat the shit out of him and call it a day. Uh, guess what strategy I'm going to do? That's right, beat the stuffings out of them! Because it really does not matter. Ow. Ow. I mean, that still helps me. But ow. Oh, hey, be here. Oh, hey, Mega Rush. Not that I expect to trigger it all too often, but uh, when we do, uh, things are going to be in severe pain. Okay. I forgot about Lucky Day. Again, Division returns, mind you. But also, we just have a very high likelihood to just not take damage. Why did I do that? Yeah, no, actually, why did I do that? <laughs> ah, whatever, we're not gonna count too many of them. But I could have used the two damage off of them to get myself into peril, and then just instantly die. Because, of course. I feel like dealing with you, so I'm just gonna uh, mega flare you and call it a day. How's about how about that? Oh, it's amazing! Excellent! All I did was mash it. Now we're definitely over leveled. Maybe that actually gives a pretty decent amount of uh, star points when you're at it the appropriate level. All or nothing! Oh, hello there, another really good badge if you're really good at the game. Also proving that, yeah, you didn't actually flock up the um, power balance command, you just got capped. Because, fun fact, that doesn't actually affect, uh, getting capped. At least in 64 it doesn't. I don't know about, uh, TTYD. But I'm gonna assume it works the same in TTYD. 
Mmm, spike me, yes. I'm gonna call bullshit on that! So we do have to be careful not to die. We don't have the life true will not save us. this game. I'm going to heal. I don't trust this game. This game has eroded my trust over the years. Over this let's play. <laughs> Is almighty. It's not my goal to clear out every enemy in this room, but we're just gonna have to do that anyways. Like we have just enough of damage. Enough. You. Fluff. You game. Now's a good point. Point to call it. So I'm gonna call it for today. Cause I'll oh, we'll call it for this episode. I'm still gonna continue playing. So until next time, we have a safe lock so I can save. Cause I don't want to do that again. Till then.